Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be making a tier list for all fighting styles in Blocks Fruits. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. I've also got a new website, so that will be the first link in the description if you want to go check that out. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so we are starting off with Dark Step. Dark Step is pretty good for early game, considering you start out with combat, which is literal garbage. So I'd say it's C tier because it, it can do some pretty good combos. It's short range, like really short range, but I still think it's really good for really early game, like first world and stuff like that, first C. Next, we've got Water Kung Fu. Water Kung Fu is pretty expensive, being 700,000 cash just for the first C, but the damage is the best overall. The moves are alright, there isn't much you can do with combos, so I'm going to put it just below Dark Step, even though Dark Step does slightly less damage than Water Kung Fu. Next, you've got Electric. So, Elec electricity, electric, whatever you call it. It's got some pretty good combos, but again, it is 500,000 cash in the first C compared to the 150, I think, for Dark Step. So, if you don't have much money, you should probably go for Dark Step, but if you've got enough, you should probably buy Electro. It's good overall as well since you can do some combos with it, with the electric floor and stuff like that. Next, we're going to the second C, and the first thing you can get in the second C is the Dragon Breath. Yeah, that, that's the name. Dragon Breath has pretty good damage, but honestly, it's kind of garbage. It's only 2,500 fragments, but fragments can be quite hard to come across, so, you know, it's just your choice on what you want to do with this. I do not know where to put this. The first move's pretty good for combos, to be honest, but the second two are just terrible. It's much more ranged than Dark Step, so I'll just put it above Dark Step. I'll move uh, Electric and water kung fu down. Next we've got death step which is the upgrade to dark step. Death step is very expensive but I think it is very good for PvP and especially for farming. This this fighting style is really good for farming because all of its moves are AoE and uh, AoE as in like area of effect and hit multiple targets at once. So you just gather the enemies and then use the moves. So that's really great. The combo potential with Death Step is really something. It's really good. It's a very easy fighting style to combo with. You just use the C move and then the Z and the X right on the ground. And that that's an easy combo with it. But it does not go well with all the things. So I'll put it in B tier. Next we've got Sharkman Karate. Sharkman Karate is the upgrade to Water Kung Fu, and I think it is a really big step up from Water Kung Fu. Considering how bad Water Kung Fu is, I think Sharkman Karate is miles ahead, and the combo potential with it is very good as well. So I think I will put it in A, A tier. Oh yeah, and it goes well with a lot of a lot of other things like fruits and stuff. It's just great overall. Next, we've got Superhuman, one of my personal favorites. So with this, this is the upgrade to basically these four, because you need to upgrade all these four just to get this, Superhuman. So, Superhuman, it's got great combo potential, but it's pretty garbage for farming, unless you've got Buddha and you're just using it for clicks then it's alright since it's got the fastest clicks but if you're gonna farm with it I don't think you should and 
if you're going to PvP with it, then awesome. It's really good for PvP. It's got some pretty simple combos and works well with quite a lot of things. So, I will put it just above uh, Shark Man Karate. Next is Electric Claw, which is the upgrade to Electric or Electricity. I don't know the name of that one. Electric Claw, its combo potential is really good. It's got some simple combos and I really like its moves, especially the final move, the C move. I forgot the name of it, but it is really good. It gets rid of the opponent's observation haki and it instantly comes out. It's just a really good move. I love it. Works well with almost everything, so I'm going to put it in S tier. And the farming capability is not too bad either. And finally, we've got Dragon Talon. This is the newest addition to Blox Fruits and the upgrade to Dragon Breath. Now considering Dragon Breath is garbage for the C that it came with, this is very good. The combo potential is pretty good with it, but the last move is you just can barely fit it in any combos to be honest. Considering it's a long wind up, people can just walk away or teleport away or something. But for farming, two of its moves are AoE, two of the three moves. So that is an upside, I guess. I will put it right behind Sharkman. Karai. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.